I guess this is where we're sleeping tonight, boys. Yep. yep. It's like something stalking us. Jesus Christ. How's a woman? What's up guys, I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another abandoned exploration coming out of the United Kingdom. I've been having such a blast here in the UK filming non-stop bangers for you guys. Like literally I've been filmed like two, three videos a day. There's so much content here. And today I'm giving you guys a really cool video throughout this forest. I got the boys with me back there. We are actually going to a really haunted mental asylum, a place that has so much history, a place that's like literally like 500 years old, maybe even more. I don't know exactly how old it is. We will find out once we get inside. Apparently this place has seen a lot of suffering throughout the years. People have died at the abuse of the officers that were here. Apparently some of the patients that were here at one point in time still come back and hide out in here because a lot of them actually escaped. A lot of these patients went missing over the years and honestly, I'm really hoping we don't run into anyone here that's going to possibly potentially hurt us But if we do we are going to document it for you. I'm going to try to make this video as long as possible I love you guys. Thank you all for the love and support that I've been getting on these videos and don't forget UK merch links down below the adventure begins look at this completely surrounded by this massive forest Really creepy trees and a big asylum building right there I got Aldo exploring with fighters and I got proving demons with me today. The boys and I are on this road trip throughout the UK. We're going to be in Scotland soon and we're just going to be filming non-stop. So I hope you guys are subscribed and I hope you have notifications turned on. Whoa, this place is massive, bigger than I expected it to be. It just keeps going on the other side. And the weirdest thing is, is that there's an active prison down that way. So we have to stay clear of that side because there's literally police and uh, we don't want to get in trouble here. But look at this, guys. This is a giant abandoned asylum. And I'm told there's beds and stuff and like things left behind. So there should be some history to look at here. All right, boys, you all got your diapers on today? Yeah, I'm ready. I forgot mine, sadly. Oh, I got I'll... my tampons, though. So. Okay, that's um, yeah. weird. Okay. Yeah. Very weird. <laughs> I got Dan improving demons, as you guys already know. Nope. Guys, so listen, if we find any people in here that are going to be like aggressive, let's uh... Well, you know, I haven't pissed all day, so I can piss on the. I mean... What? what? No, no, no. no. Wait, on aggressive people. It's on aggressive uh, people. Aggressive people, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the aggressive golden shower. And the aggressive golden shower. Why is this turning... Wait, okay, stop. I don't want tampons and golden showers in my damn video. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is such a cool place. Thank you to Dan for driving us out here. But how big is this place? It's, it's, it's big. I mean, it's it, really looks, big. it doesn't look too big here, but it stretches way yeah, off It that goes way. all the way up now, there. Now, is that what she said or is that? That's what I like to think. From personal experience, he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> all right, no more sexual dumb jokes. These are all dad jokes, by the way. I think me and Dan are the only two dads here. But yeah, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna explore. And it literally looks like there's someone looking at us from up in that window right now. That's crazy. Have you ever had any paranormal experiences here? Oh yeah, oh, ton, yeah. tons. Oh yeah, tons. Like what? This is notorious. This, this place is one of the most haunted places in the whole county. Really? Like this is no joke. Like this is also doable for a nighttime. Day or night, haunted is haunted. Yeah, of course. Demons Girl, don't just go away because it's daytime. I camped in here. No way. Yeah, yeah, I camped overnight. I stayed the whole night. And this is the only place I've actually physically been touched. I had someone pull on my t-shirt behind what me. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. It freaked me out so much rotten. I didn't come back. This really? is the first time back since then, yeah. Do you think it's the spirits of all the crazy mental... Actually, you know what? I think, I it, was a, I think it was a child because it was a child wing over on the far side. And it, and it came from down below. It was like something pulled from the, the bottom like a child like pulling your top. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might see like a little ghost of children yeah. here. If and I mean, it, it might look pretty bad here like yeah. this, yeah. but the further you go in, the more untouched it becomes. Oh, you know? Well, good thing I have my Live a Little UK merch on because it's going to protect me from anything here today. Yep. All the merch is blessed by a priest. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. All right, here we go. We are about to get inside of the asylum. Look at that. Wide open. All right, so I think we're going to split off into twos. Want to come with me? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Right. yeah. You guys go together yeah, for a little bit? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna split off a little bit meet up again and then we can like kind of switch teams a little bit It'd be kind of cool to have like yeah, different perspectives yeah, and if you need any help just scream All right, Dan, where do you think we should go? We'll probably stick to this level in the basement. Okay, let's All do right. it I feel like it's been a while since I've been to an asylum. This place looks like it's suffered damage. But then again, 
asylums always do like when you come to these places it's a chance that you'll, you'll find stuff or you won't find stuff let me get my flashlight out here yeah this looks like it was just a bathroom i'm gonna try to keep this video as long as i possibly can for you guys without kind of boring you um yeah there's not much going on in here are there any like beds and stuff left behind? Uh, yeah, in, in some of the more untouched areas. Oh, there's so there's areas that are kind of not like destroyed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's I cool. Mean, you, you, the, the thing is, it looks more destroyed because a lot of this paint, I don't know if you know, it's got lead in the paint. Yeah. So that's why it all crumbles like this. Yeah. It's like Silent Hill. Yeah, it's like super illegal to have this paint nowadays. Yeah. I don't think they make it anymore, anyways. It's almost like they wanted to poison people. They just put lead in everything. Yeah. So guys, for those of you that don't know, I have an Instagram. It's called MoSarG. It's got a blue check mark. I'm verified. There's only one. And I have like 333,000 followers on it. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting stories of future locations that we're going to be filming. So you guys will always know what we are filming before we even drop it. So I would really appreciate if you guys went to my Instagram, followed me and turned on notifications and spam me with something. Spam me hello. I will always reply to you guys. I've seen a lot of penises before, like my friend Carlo, for instance, but never a penis on legs. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Dan, do you think I should do it? Yeah. Do you think I should tell them about the horses? Yeah, you should tell them about the whole thing. All right, all right. So listen up, guys. Here we go. Okay, listen. I have this friend named Steve. And Dan oh, is also... Good old Steve. Good old Steve. We both know Steve. You guys have seen him in my videos a long time ago. Steve's one of the coolest dudes ever. Now, Steve loves horses. Oh. Absolutely loves them. Loves. Like, I'm talking about actual horses. Mm. So here's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to go and show Steve some love on Instagram, even on Twitter. at Steve Ronan. I'll leave his Instagram down below. You guys can go and spam him nonstop. And he loves this because he wants a lot of these. He loves pictures of horses. Yeah. So spam him nonstop with pictures of horses, but don't tell him who sent you. Just just, just don't tell him, okay? I mean, he, he particularly likes like funny looking horses. So you, if you can find the funniest looking horse, like a horse smiling or you know showing its teeth, you know sending them falls. Or showing its it. arm. Yeah, he, I mean, he will love it, honestly. He would really appreciate yeah, it. He would really appreciate it. And like he falls back anyone that sends him pictures of horses. That's true as well. So whether you want to spam him for a day or a week or an entire month, it's all up to you guys. Yeah. Just keep spamming him with horse pics. And comment down below when you've done it as well. Let us know that you've done it. Yes. So we can show you appreciation too. Yes. Hey, this looks like a classroom. Kind of, maybe. So creepy. Even though it's daytime, haunted is haunted, guys. Yeah, there's going to be some paranormal activity in here, for sure. You know, weirdly, I've had more paranormal stuff happen in the daytime than at nighttime. Dude, me too. And when you're not even trying, when you're just like, us two talking like this, yeah. that's when stuff happens. Yeah, exactly. It's like trying to get your attention. Exactly. And that's why we sit here and joke around sometimes, because we know, like, when, when you're just, like, joking around, like, the spirits are watching. They're like, hey, let's do something, you know, when these guys are watching and not actually trying to summon us all the time. But look at the way these hallways look like. All burnt, dilapidated, glasses broken. These arches are kind of cool. This is my first UK asylum. Wow. What? What's wrong? Here's them. It sound, it's, it almost sounded like something took a step down there. I thought it might have been like a bird or something, but I don't think so. Hello? By the way, guys, this is the morning. We're here in the morning. No one comes to these places in the morning. Yeah. So we, we are alone. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. adventures. This is the 10 a.m. challenge. And of course, we got a pentagram on the wall. <gasps> we got Nazi signs everywhere, which is interesting. And then we got the 666. Always with the 666s. Whoa, look at this. So much destruction. So this is what you don't see in like asylums in Canada, like arches everywhere. You know, you find it in the U.S. a little bit, but it, it is different. It was the Victorians. The Victorians were obsessed with arches and vaulted ceilings. I am too. I wish I would bring that back. If you're going to start doing architecture, start doing stuff like this. It's so cool. Look at this. We have an elevator. Do you know how old this place is? It's not like a 500-year-old building. No, no, no. It's no. like 130, 140 years old. Okay, I said 500 at the beginning. Totally wrong. Forgive me. I just always think everything's like 500 to 1,000 years old in the UK. So Dan's telling me that this place might have been built in 1903 and apparently this area suffered a fire which is new a lot of damage we got some old machines here no clue what they're all about Whoa. you know this place is real when you got biohazard bags this is what they would put like the waste in so like are there stories of torture yeah of course so a lot of the asylums in the uk got closed down because of abuse and torture what they would do is they would get towels wet them and they would wrap them around patients that would scream 
and they would basically like rear naked choke them with a towel until they pass out and fall asleep. What the um, hell? They would put methylated spirit, uh, a flammable liquid, in the pockets and set them on fire just just for fun to watch them. And these were the officers that this, were doing Yeah, this. this was like just the nurses and stuff, uh, the staff here to entertain themselves. Yeah, it was really bad. Why were people so evil and vile back then? I really do feel like if there wasn't actual Overwatch over like certain not all of them like certain nurses nowadays and like doctors i think they'd still be doing stuff like this because there's a lot of evil people out there that pretend to be good and to do good and they actually end up like i'm sure there's patient abuse even now and now in modern times i've been to a couple of active asylums like back in the day before youtube i used to deliver pizza for a living and i used to deliver pizza to this one asylum and i was always so terrified going in there there was this dude that would order pizza once a week Never said a word to me, but would look at me like a really weird way. Like I was genuinely scared. And he would order the same thing every week. And I would have to go through the asylum. Like they would let me go yeah. and just to give him his food. Wow. It was terrifying. But it's weird looking into their eyes. It's almost like they're having some issues, but it's almost like you can tell that they're kind of being abused yeah. in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah. I hope that's not the case. I hope people aren't being abused nowadays in, in these places, but I'm sure they are. I'm 100% sh guarantee it. Do you know a crazy thing? One of the key uh, reasons why a lot of the females were put in these places is if they got pregnant out of wedlock, so if they weren't married and they were having a child, they would be put in an asylum. Why would they put you in an because, asylum? Because they would see, they would think that you're not of, uh, you know, mental stability because you're having a child out of wedlock. So they would put them in asylum jail. It was really bad on females back in the day. Yeah, and I can only imagine, like, imagine they gave birth. Or well, they would. If you gave birth in this place, your kid they would. might be stuck here, or they might take your kid away. They, no, they truly would. That's what would happen. They had they had children wings, and the child would grow up in the asylum and become a patient as well because they would. That's all they knew. Yeah, it was really bad. And then once the, once a child finally gets out, if they get out, they're yeah. all like mentally unstable because they've only grown up to know oh, yeah. the life of an asylum. And that's why there's such bad residual energy in asylums. That's why they're so rife with paranormal activity because of the stuff that happened here. And that's why you guys need to listen out and keep your eyes wide open throughout this entire video from the beginning to the end. If you spot something, if you hear something that wasn't said by any of us, let us know in the comments below. Whoa, we're going into like this dark zone over here suffered a lot of burns and damage it's funny we haven't run into any of the other guys here yet no it's massive we should uh we should take a detour down here into the basement dude let's do this it this is recently all opened up it's not smashed the wall whoa did you film the basement uh yeah oh somebody smashed up the basement so they had sealed it up when it became yeah. abandoned yeah I wonder why. The fact that we are going down to the basement through a hole, but then again, it doesn't surprise me. In the UK, all we've been doing is tunnels and holes and caves, which I love, I absolutely love. Even the door that gets you to the basement has been opened up. Interesting. Wait, where's the basement? Oh, that is weird. What's down here, nothing? Nothing. Rolling metal. All right, let's keep going. Wow. It's time to go into the basement. Oh, this is the power plant. All right. Spirits and ghosts. We are in your basement. Dude, there's mud everywhere, so let's walk on these like rocks. <clears throat> it's like playing the floor is lava in the basement here. Well, this is what proper exploring is. Holy, it's a tunnel system. We have to walk through this? Yeah. All right. Let's go through the tunnels then. I love tunnels. You guys know me. Tunnels are cool, but I hope it takes us somewhere. Where, where should we go, right or left? I've never been down here so long. Oh. That's so, the floor. All right. Well, I see light over there, so let's keep going. Just to show you guys, I'm literally working out my thighs right now. Oh, wow. This gets you into like a power station. Wow. This is a strange tunnel. Is it going to take us anywhere beneficial? I have no idea. I don't think so. I think this is going to take us like... It's the underbelly of this island. This. Yeah. But I think what it's going to do is it's not going to be actually underground basement. I think these are just like tunnels that get you from place yeah, to place. Yeah, so many stuff. Many stuff, yeah. So we decided we're not going to keep going down the tunnels. It's pointless. It's going to break our backs for no reason. Um, they're just going to get us to places that are above ground. 
basically. So we're gonna jump down here. This is a proper adventure in the UK. Alright, we got this. Watch out, this thing's a little bit wobbly. Yeah, Dan. Wow, look at all these old machines. Pumps. This is like the electrical area or like a water pump area. Diesel, big, big ass engine over here. Someone's really knocking these down. Like it's hard to break this open. Watch out for nails, kids. Whoa, where the hell are we? Oh, we literally went in through that. Okay, so that was pointless. That got us nowhere. There is probably a proper basement somewhere else we have to find. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we have to find it. I, I don't think I've actually been in the proper basement there. So then we gotta find it. All right, we are continuing on to the main floor before we explore other parts of the wards. That was a woman. That was a woman. Hello? Bro, that was a woman howling. Yeah. Hello? Ooh. Oh, do you it's feel like gust? Yeah. That was a cold breeze. Oh. What the hell? Yo, we just got hit with like a weird. <gasps> oh, Whoa. I'm still feeling it. Feel that? We're hearing something, and we just felt the cold breeze just come out of nowhere. And there is no breeze in here at all. No, you'd be seeing things like moving around if there was. I mean, look at the way the that would be moving around. Yeah. Hey, we should review that footage. I'm gonna look yeah. at it. Okay, we just reviewed the footage. It literally sounds like a woman howling or like screaming in pain. It's very faint. I'm gonna have to like elevate it in the video, but wow. We're not alone here. No. It could be the guys though. Yeah, yeah, maybe. All right, we gotta be on the lookout now. We've heard a female's voice. Look at this room. What the hell is this? Is this an air, a foosball? foosball? No way, and they destroyed it. Foosball, wow. I love foosball. So, what was this room? Why, why would it have a foosball table, I guess? Uh, this would have been like a community room. Mm. Like a, yeah, where they can come and they would probably get a privilege if they've been well behaved, they would be allowed to come and play in here. And, Community. Community room. Yeah, it was very strange. We heard a voice and then all of a sudden a, a gust of cold air. It's really hot today. And all of a sudden, you know, we, we get a gust of cold air. Look at that, dude. They got fences. They had fences, I should say, all around. So in the community yard, this is all the freedom you would get. That is depressing. Man, I swear to God, if I see any like shadow figures, or females in here that are not human, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> We've been experiencing so much paranormal activity on this trip, going to different places. This is terrifying. Oh, it's a clinic. Wowie, we got a clinic here. Oh, it stinks. It smells weird in there. It's like something died in there. But let's bring these patients to an asylum where they can get treatment, abused, and then treatment again, and then abused again. And over and over and over and over. Hey, this is looking like a proper hospital over here. The guardian room. What does that even mean, the guardian room? Oh, this was a, this was a child's section, this part now. Oh. And the guardians, yeah, they would be like, not birth parents, but people who, who mm. was like adopted or whatever. Makes sense. Yeah, it seems like it just gets darker and darker in this place. I think we've reached the end of this wing over here. Or does it keep going? No, oh, it keeps going. Hello, any spirits in here? We're here to evict you. Let you go free. This was a children's room. What oh, the, the f is that? Hello? Well, something doesn't want us to be in here. 
Bro, you, I think you had your camera pointing that way when it happened. Yeah, I did. I hope to God you caught it. I don't know, I didn't see anything. I heard something, like way back there. We come in peace. We don't mean any harm, I promise. Bro, it could be like a child. Yeah. Spirit. You said you had an encounter with something tugging on your shirt one time. Yeah, that was, that was immense. And that was actually one of the most scariest things I went through. And it caused you to run the hell out of here. Yes, because like, when you're dealing with big noises and stuff, you know, you're like, oh, well, maybe it could have just been falling debris. When something pulls you, it's like you can't explain that. 100%. I've been pulled before, that's for sure. All right, spirits, we're coming through. Please don't hurt us. We mean you no harm. We'll get out of this area, I, I promise. Yeah, it's not like it came from over here. Oh, that's creepy. Yeah, I wanna get out of this. Huh? Oh, what, what, what? It just feels like something. Really? Yeah, you know, you yeah, I, feel going, I feel that too. I feel scoop up. It's like something stalking us. Jesus Christ. What the hell was that? It felt like it was like hovering above us. Right? It felt heavy. Bro, oh, that was not good. Like the thing is, is when, when we start to get scared, it, it gets stronger. Yeah, it does. So we, we didn't see anything, but it felt like it was like above us, like hovering above us. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Like, yes, we do abandon and haunted like for years, but it's always scary. Like, it's always an experience. People don't understand that in the comments. Yeah, we never like, get used to this. Why, why are you guys scared? You're here every other week. Because you don't get used to something that, like this. You don't see these demons and spirits and you just don't know what they're going to do to you. They will do something to you if you allow them to. You have to run sometimes and get away from the situation. It's always different as well. You, and you kind of know in your gut if it's a good thing yeah. or a bad thing. Just like a bee, if you're messing with a bumblebee, yeah. you gotta run, you know what I mean? Like, these things will sting harder than a freaking bee. But something was literally hovering, hovering all above us. Maybe we go back there when, when we're all together. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> Why is that area though? That's so strange. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's actually like the, the youth energy is stronger than like a normal spiritual energy. Or you know, as a younger. Or I, I believe I don't believe like any like youth are still here like right, in spirit okay. form. I believe it's always demons that are still. Right. What was that? That was scary. I don't know, but I don't want to find out. Yeah, the guys are on the opposite side of this asylum, so it's just us two here. All right, we're now on the second floor, and we did hear something. I think there's a bed in here. Oh, dude, so much fires have happened in this place. It's like, yeah, people have set fire to this entire building. It really sucks. The second floor is definitely worse than the first floor, but apparently there's areas that are kind of almost untouched. I want to go out here and see what's out this way. Oh yeah, the sun feels nice. Look at this. Yeah, like I told you guys, this is the court where these patients, this is the only freedom they had. Out of like, maybe like a, a thousand of them that were here. This is all the freedom they had. But I want to take a moment to sit here and let you guys know that I love you and I thank you for all the support on the videos. And if it wasn't for you guys, I would not have the opportunity to get out there and give you guys free content like this. So big thank you to y'all. I enjoy giving you guys free content. I enjoy making videos for you guys. I enjoy just doing this. Like we're not sleeping. We're just traveling nonstop and we're filming a lot. I've never been to the United Kingdom. It's my first time ever in my life. My wife's about to give birth soon. So I'm on this trip, but I'm also trying to do it in, in a fast way where I have videos once, you know, my second baby comes and uh, I can just hang back at home and edit videos and drop videos for you guys. So I hope you appreciate it. I'm working hard for you and I love you. Live a little. All right, the adventure continues. We are still searching for the unknown inside of this asylum. Imagine just walking by a door and just seeing like a spirit just standing there. In like a nightgown. Yeah. Now that would be terrifying. What? This place is like, it's so weird. We got like 
corporate stuff over here. Oh wow. Yeah, look at all this. <clears throat> wow. I wonder how old this stuff is. This stuff looks kind of new. There's no date on it, but surprised no one set this stuff on fire yet. Apparently there is a third floor. We heard Aldo or somebody screaming. We don't even know if it was Aldo. Could be other people in here, but we just I don't know. Like someone was screaming. Um, we're gonna continue on because there's a third floor and uh... oh, oh, oh. What the Are you kidding me? Yeah, that door was wide open walking through it Close the door all the way if you're here guys. I'm gonna show you that there's no one behind this No one, not a thing, not a soul. If you're here, that was wide open. You didn't touch it. You, no, you, touch you it were with all. me. You were with me when yeah. we heard the noise. Didn't touch it at all. When you were, when we heard it, that noise, <laughs> we were standing right here. But yeah, by yeah. the time we heard the noise of the door uh, closing, what the hell, bro? What? It was like someone banged it though. And this is exactly what I mean. You do capture paranormal in the daytime. And I love it. I feel like you get more stuff in the daytime. Okay guys, we are moving up onto the third floor right now. I don't know what to expect. I don't even think the other guys have been up here yet. So, uh, hopefully. Oh, it looks, looks like a lot of damage up here. Keep in mind, there are other buildings. This isn't the only building. This is still the first building. And we're getting this much paranormal activity. You know, I'm scared up here. I don't know why. I got a bad feeling about this floor. I don't know why, I just do. It's almost like every floor has its own vibe. Yeah, this floor is really done in. They've messed it up. I mean, some of it's natural decay, understandable, but a lot of it is, is, is actual vandalism. What the heck? Secret tunnel. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go through the secret tunnel. Have you been in here? Nope. <laughs> He's like, man, when I go out with Mo Sarji, he just goes into like the secret tunnels. Yeah, I love it. I've been <laughs> looking for someone like this for a long time. Yeah, like, you know, you guys know me. I, I, look, I like to go above and beyond. Like if I'm here spending my time, like I, I travel all the way here. I, I want to see every inch of this place. What is that? The drops. The drops? Yeah, I know they're all like toast. That's why these boards are here, I guess. Uh, yeah, we gotta be careful walking here. <laughs> but what was this place? I gotta be very careful. Oh, it just keeps going, dude. This is like something out of Harry Potter. Just keeps going and going. Whoa. And there's like other tunnels and stuff, but I think that's a dead end down there. All right, that was cool. This is like where the officers will probably bring these kids and torture them. Yeah, well, I've never <laughs> been in the attic before. This is it. This is the attic. But And we're walking on these. If we walk anywhere else, we're going to fall right through and die. Yeah, yeah we got to be careful. But yeah, as I was saying, like I literally like to go above and beyond. And even when I do, I probably still miss stuff because there's always something hidden that you've missed. It's almost impossible to see everything all at first glance, especially if you don't have a map. There's a shot of Dan's bum right there. <laughs> the only reason why I came on the uh, Mossadji channel. <laughs> to get your bum show? Yep. <laughs> oh, this is not so glorious. Ugh. I wore my brand new pants today too. I, don't, I wasn't expecting to get dirty. These were supposed to be my going out to dinner pants. We're good. So Dan was telling me that this upstairs area was the best kept area, untouched. And the last time you were here was two years. Two years ago. And it's look at look at the state it's in in two years, destroyed. Probably worse than the rest of the place. And it just goes to show you how quickly these places get destroyed because of vandalism and natural decay. There's supposed to be beds, but I'm sure they've all been set fire to. Yeah, there's nothing. Everything's been set fire to. Well, it sucks, but there are other buildings we can go and explore and continue this adventure. So let's go and check them out. Bro, we thought we saw something down there. Yeah, it's like a girl. Dude, we were upstairs and you can hear you. Like we're kind of outside. We can hear everything. Yeah, it's crazy though, because we could hear a girl before. We heard it. We actually got a girl's voice on the actual oh, audio. Yes. We were, are you serious? Yes. Yeah. What the what? Wait, what happened? 
Yo, Siri just reacted to Siri just turned on by itself. Oh, what the hell? So we were standing over there earlier, yeah. and we had this big gust of wind out of nowhere, yeah. and we heard a female's voice. And then it felt like something engulfed us, like was over us, like standing behind us, and we ran scared, like we ran upstairs. Oh, man. Okay, well, it's good that you guys are okay. Yeah, we're alive. We're alive. Holy crap. And apparently there's a room that we missed that has a, an actual bed and yeah. a toilet. Yeah. So let's go and check it out. I can't believe it's here. It's, it's creepy. We heard something down there. Dude, we've been like getting attacked by like paranormal, so it's kind of hard to like see everything at once. Yeah, it was, um, it had, the sign said out of bounds on it. Really? Oh, we didn't see that. It was an out of bounds area. We might have missed it. To be honest, we don't even know where we are now. Like, we, we were, we went underground into a tunnel. Alright, alright, alright. How you guys doing? There's a little people in here. What's up, buddy? What? Yeah, that's what we're doing. You gotta pay $10. Yeah. Huh? $10 fee to explore. <laughs> nah, fuck it. We're just fucking with you. We're just messing with you. <laughs> These little kids just came in here. Um, scared of this stuff. <laughs> you see, you never know. You're in one spot, you think you're completely alone. But we've been completely alone. These guys just showed up. You're never alone. Yeah, especially with that freaking giant spirit that was hovering above us. Man, that was so scary, eh, Dan? Yeah. It literally felt like this massive thing behind us. You couldn't see it, but you... That was different. Yeah. That was like a big shadow man type thing. We didn't actually go in this way. I just threw room in there. Really? Surprised there's something less intact in this place. Whoa. Okay, this is creepy. We got a toilet with some blood and sh** on it. We got a bed. I guess this is where we're sleeping tonight, boys. Yep. Oh, look, look, look. What? There's footsteps, and then there's a, whatever the hell that Yeah, is. someone's gone up in those ducks. Like, who the hell wants to crawl into that? I just want to go up in there and see what's in there. That's weird. Little bud. No, I think what they're trying to do is steal copper. What? Yeah, because like, you literally can't go anywhere. Right? Yeah, they're probably trying to steal copper or something. Copper. It's actually really clean up there. A lot of electrical plugs. Yeah, because they sell copper. Did, oh. you, did you see this? See that blood? Oh, yeah, there's blood on the bed. That's gross. That's so sick. Alright, it's time to get the hell out of here. It's so weird being here by myself when the boys are back at the car. All those doing like a drone video and the other two are just chilling so we're taking a break before we go have lunch and move on to the next location tonight we are going to end up in scotland which is cool bees 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 the bees are coming after me we're going to end up in scotland tonight never been to scotland obviously and i never knew it was part of the uk so i'm learning a lot on this trip learning a lot how all these areas are you know parts of the united kingdom which i thought everything was like kind of separated and you had to take like boats and planes but you can literally just drive there anywhere i could even drive to italy if i wanted to